So, welcome to a very, very special episode of Industry Talk with CV and Upfront with ACI. We are in central India and of course with a man who is central to all developments in the commercial vehicle segment, Mr. Vinod Agarwal. He needs no introduction. Uh, so, welcome to Industry Talk with CV Magazine and Upfront with Auto Components India. Pleasure having you on the show. My pleasure. I'm hoping that you sort of relieved the CRM position and are in a, uh, a better frame of time management. Are, are you, how are you coping? No, no, of course, I was relieved at that time also and now also. Good to so hear that. Is, no problem. Good to hear that. Thank you so much for uh, having us at this new facility. Last when we connected, uh, uh, you know, it was all about capacity augmentation and you had mentioned a number at that time could have changed by now. Uh, 140,000 units is what you said was the capacity of this new plant at uh, Bagroda in Bhopal. Uh, tell us about uh, the capacity augmented augmentation, the impact on Aisha truck and buses and of course all of this linking to your much awaited foray in the two to three and a half ton segment. First of all, I think uh, this plant is uh, very important for us, uh, important from various angles. Right. Uh, this is, uh, you can say it's the best plant as far as we are concerned. Flagship. Flagship. And, right. uh, uh, built uh, from the very beginning on industry 4.0 process. Right. Like when you have to modernize the uh, existing plant, then it is a different type of a challenge. Right. When you set up a new plant, right with the uh, state of the art processes, right. then it is totally different type of a uh, creation. Right. So from that point of view, this plant is absolutely state of the art. Right. Built right from the very beginning on uh, state of the art processes. Right, right. Uh, and second thing is that this plant we built during COVID. That is, so we to inaugurated you. this during COVID, December yes, 2020. Yes. And uh, so our team has done absolutely wonderful job during difficult times. Right, right. So when the COVID was there, work was going on seamlessly here. Right, right. So hats so, off to the team. Yes. Right. And uh, and of course this plant we are especially dedicating to our uh, light and medium duty trucks. Right. So, we will eventually dedicate Pitampur for heavy duty trucks okay. uh, and maybe some medium duty trucks there. But light and medium duty trucks largely we should move here. Okay. And of course, now small commercial vehicles as well. Right. right. That, is, that is the talk point today. So, right. So right. Uh, you, you said you had the liberty of building a plant ground up, uh, building a state of the art facility and then of course, you had that thought in your mind where you want to commercialize a new product, a new segment altogether. Uh, at the inception stage itself, what alignments were required to ensure that this is a well-oiled facility for the commercialization of your new SAV product? Uh, I think before we uh, got into small commercial vehicles, hmm. Hmm. Uh, our Pro 2000 series, yes. that we started here only. Okay. So, Pro 2000 series, this was the main plan. Right. And uh, if you look at the assembly line, hmm. It's a pillarless line mm. and straight 580 meters right. straight line. And when you look at from the beginning of the assembly line, you can see till the end, right. um, half a kilometer plus. Right. Right. And it's a great. Uh, You've great seen a couple of cabs rolling it's over. It's a great sight yeah. and it's a great, great feeling. Right. right. And, uh, and starting with the uh, Pro 2000 series, now when we decided on the small commercial vehicles, mm then uh, there was not a better place than this. So, therefore, now we are uh, going to uh, make our small commercial vehicles here. Yeah. And uh, most of the uh, manufacturing uh, setups are ready. Right. And last week only we inaugurated the state-of-the-art paint shop. Okay. And BIW line and uh, assembly line is nearing completion. Right. So, and we will start uh, manufacturing here. Uh, we, are, we are waiting to get a glimpse of all of those things. Yeah. Uh, you made a very interesting revelation at uh, Bharat Mobility saying that you are looking at the SAV product starting off with the uh, EV variant and then looking at the conventional options. Usually, it's the uh, other way around. Tell us about the, the whole uh, uh, philosophy behind that. No, from the very beginning, uh, our focus on uh, sustainability and electability mm -hmm. has been very high. Right. And uh, and this uh, this vehicle, small commercial vehicle, is very relevant. Mm. Where you can do the uh, uh, electric vehicles, uh, the viability of electric vehicles can come very fast okay. when it is a small commercial vehicle because right. uh, then the charging infrastructure is in the localized areas. Yes, like it is not uh, on the very on the highways or you, have, you don't have to go long distances. Yes, 
so therefore uh, the the viability for the small commercial vehicle i would say is the easiest okay because you don't need very big battery sizes also right. because right. your distances uh, are small so you can have the battery sizes um, in line with the how much distance you want to cover right this so also for the upfront costs are also not that much uh, higher right as compared to the bigger trucks right because bigger trucks the initial cost becomes very very high yes. but here the uh, initial cost with respect to the uh, traditional truck is not that much uh, right high. right from a purely a tooling perspective when you, once you come out with the ev variant as well as the conventional options would they be on, uh, manufactured on the same assembly line absolutely uh, okay mm. so Absolute that kind of agility has been factored in yeah yeah, yeah. right and this uh, of course Further's your aspiration to be a, a full range player that we've been waiting for, uh, uh, you know, Aisha to uh, achieve. No, with this we will be right from two ton till fifty five ton. Right, right, right. So the very, very important step yeah. to achieve that milestone. Yes. Right. Now only the uh, sub two ton will be left. Right. So you, you plan around the you can say another uh, market of another one and a half to two lakhs. Right, right. Which we should so not rule than, out. Going by or. Uh, commentary we should not rule out a uh, uh, for <laughs> when it will happen right right uh, uh, word step by step right right now let's trace this journey from uh, uh, you know deciding the foray in the scv segment to q1 of uh, 2025 where you plan to commercially roll out this vehicle uh, tell us a little about the entire journey uh, with the r and d team in place uh, with your commercial trials in place how has that exercise been i'm sure you have achieved many milestones I over think, there as well uh, this entire uh, new products they go through extensive uh, testing yes uh, virtual testing also and real testing yes also. and uh, and we have extensively used uh, netrex okay test tracks yeah. which is uh, i don't know whether you have seen uh, yes yes we it's in pitampur which, uh, which is set up testing. by the government yes yes and it's a it's a huge uh, test tracks right and they have all the different types of uh, testing yes. facilities yes and uh, we have extensively used that right and uh, therefore uh, it has gone through tremendous testing it has also um, I, i'm sure it has gone through a lot of running on the roads right uh, right uh, lakhs of kilometers fantastic to hear that uh, before we move on uh, with this leg of interview uh, i want because we are at the starting point i wanted to uh, take you back to your association with the state of Madhya Pradesh, you've received many accolades for your constant expansion in Madhya Pradesh. Seven plants, if I'm not mistaken, one in Hoskot, including the Volvo bit under your umbrella. So, what is the the deep-rooted association with uh, the state of Madhya Pradesh? Madhya and Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, we started in 1985. Right. So, and we were the pioneer plant in Pitampur. Hmm. So, when we set up the plant in Pitampur, uh, there was no industry there. Right. It was no industry district. Okay. And uh, we set up that first plant, right. uh, big plant, truck plant there. Okay. And then now you can see Pitampur. Yes. Uh, it has developed into such a big yes. um, industrial area. Yes. yes. And now uh, this Bagroda, mm. we were the first, first plant ones here. to enter as well. And uh, if you look at Mandideep, mm. there also uh, it was Aishir Tractors plant. It right. was again set up by Aishir Group. Right. Uh, and that again uh, at that time Mandideep had. Almost uh, no industry. No existence. So, you so therefore, we have, we are very proud that we have uh, participated in development of three of the very large industrial areas right. in Madhya Pradesh. Right. And uh, of course, Madhya Pradesh is heart of India, mm. and uh, it is also our heart. So. Very well put there, sir. <laughs> so uh, this interesting conversation will continue in leg two as we show you around this uh, fantastic state-of-the-art facility at the Bhopal. Uh, Aisha plant. Keep going, going. Go, 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 go.